Bruce. A young woman rides a horse. Hi, my name is Christina. I have been riding horses all my life. I have been barrel racing for four years. This year I won a buckle at our state barrel run in Broken Bone, Nebraska. She pets a small dog. I grew up on a farm. I really love animals. Um, I'm going to school right now to be a horse massage, horse massage therapist. A man working in a wood shop. This, according to the instructions, is the six-hour canoe. It's made of African mahogany and marine-grade plywood. I've used a variety of different tools to build it, including the sander, the table saw, and a router. It was my dream to construct her, and now it's happening. Hi, we're Jamie and Jason, and this is our son, Isaac. We have had the opportunity to raise our eight-month-old son, just like any parent would. Blindness isn't stopping me from pursuing my dream. My name is Dave. I'm blind. Blindness didn't stop me from constructing my own canoe. Being blind hasn't prevented us from being good parents, has it, Isaac? <laughs> Barrel racing, canoe building, raising a child, all very different endeavors requiring different talents. But what Christina, Dave, Jamie and Jason share in common are the skills they learned and the confidence they developed here at the Nebraska Orientation Center for the Blind. A woman at a computer, using a braille note, using a slate and stylus, reading braille. At the Orientation Center, we provide opportunities for participants to learn the skills needed for career and life goals. For a full, productive life, a person needs confidence, working with wood, self-awareness, and self-esteem. A chef at work. Participants attending the center come from all walks of life. The man translates Spanish. Some with other disabilities in addition to their blindness. A man in a wheelchair signing to a deaf-blind person. Here, they learn the alternative skills of blindness. A man checks his blood sugar with a talking glucometer. Acquiring travel skills. Using the long white cane to negotiate through downtown. To cross intersections. And to use escalators. Both sides of the escalators, you know where it's at. Feel that? Now feel the step plate. Communication skills development. Helping blind persons to be competitive in the workplace and in their daily lives through braille literacy and adaptive technology. A woman at her computer. Woodworking. Building self-confidence, tearing down misconceptions about blindness, and overcoming fears through the use of standard hand and power tools. A man uses a table saw. Daily living skills. Living in their own apartments, participants apply knowledge they have gained to real-life situations. A man irons and vacuums. Home management. In home management, participants explore alternative skills for baking. A man puts muffin pans in an oven. Frying. A woman uses a deep fat fryer. Grilling. A woman uses a gas grill. Shopping. A woman grocery shopping using a reader and crafts. A woman works with flowers. We believe that with a positive attitude, Christina riding her horse, and proper training, blind people can live life to the fullest. Children on a playground slide. A blind woman is their care provider. The center director presenting a certificate. Our orientation center graduates are realizing their dreams on many different career paths. Like Bob Burns, an attorney at law. Deb Donnell, a switchboard operator with the Department of Health and Human Services. Doug Lane, 
a chef at Mutual of Omaha, and Daryl Walla, a school teacher at Bishop Newman High School. Okay, so when we talk about Inuits, we're also, is it, that's another one. Our participants and their employers are recognizing that how we work is not about how we see. Floyd Cologne. I have been with the Department of Labor for 40 years. And in my 40 years, uh, hiring Audra is uh, uh, one of the most uh, satisfying things that uh, I have ever done. Her work habits are wonderful. Uh, she truly exemplifies uh, a full day's work for a full day's wage. Certainly when we hired Audra, uh, many of the employees thought, uh, how long is it going to take to train Audra in her duties that she is assigned to do? Well, I can honestly tell you it took us no longer to train Audra than it uh, takes to train a, uh, an individual with sight. Certainly another plus that the Orientation Center adds is that once the individual came, became employed with us, they followed up with them to check with the employer, with the employee, to see how satisfied we both were uh, with the individual. And was the, was the employee satisfied on the job? Was I, as the employer, satisfied with that individual on the job? I wish I had a whole room full of Audras. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I completed the Nebraska Orientation Center for the Blind last March. Prior to losing my vision to a rare eye disease, I was a nurse. I was also a mother of three and completely independent. At the point that I lost my vision, my world collapsed. I could no longer run a microwave, dial a phone, or even do the simple things like walk my kids across the street. And then I was introduced to somebody from the commission. And with their help and their guidance and their support, I learned all the skills that I needed to gain my independence back. Without the center training, I'd still be at home, unable to do anything. But now I have my life back. The Nebraska Orientation Center for the Blind, providing the training you need to live the life you choose. Dave paddles his completed canoe on a lake. It's about freedom. The freedom to live our lives the way we want to, not how circumstance dictates. The picture shows our narrator reading his script in Braille. For more information about the Nebraska Orientation Center for the Blind, contact the Nebraska Commission for the Blind at 1-877-809-2419. Or area code 402-471-2891. You may also learn more on the World Wide Web at www dot ncbvi dot state dot ne dot us